All right, then, let's see what the group uh, standing looks like. I mean, it's just one game, really. Yeah. Um, three points are for Nigeria, three for Angola as well, while Tanzania and uh, Uganda have no points at the moment. So uh, anyone that wins uh, between Nigeria and Angola will definitely advance to the next round. Six yeah, points, absolutely. just enough to do that. Yeah, semi-finalists at the ongoing championship will definitely represent Africa in the tournament in Brazil later this year. So we'll see what's going to happen in mm. that one. Okay. Uh, we will be talking to someone from Tanzania and talking about yeah. uh, Sulis uh, Chuku, a, a sports journalist with the Correct. team right there. He will be telling us what the feeling is like. You know, we know how hard it is to cover, you know, age grade tournaments and all that. Sometimes don't even have access to the players. They try to protect them. We understand that because, you know, you wouldn't want them to just start, you know, same things, you're not supposed to say the protection is always there. So, Solis, good morning. It's good to have you here. Good morning. It's my pleasure to be on. All right. Tell us, what's it like for the Golden Eagles? It's a match day. Yes, it is. Um, and, of course, there's the knowledge that a win today will pretty much guarantee a ticket to the World Cup later in the year. Uh, so, there's a lot on the line. There's a lot at stake today. But um, I was at the press conference yesterday for the for the game today and you know the coach the assistant coach of the team seemed pretty relaxed as did um, Adrian Akonde the Chelsea youngster who is also a part of the team they seem pretty relaxed about the um, the magnitude of the task before them today okay relax I love that because uh, there's no pressure on them or not and knowing that in the last tournament we didn't even qualify and winning that first game at 5-4 is a step for these mm. uh, stars well, the question I want to ask is, defensively, what has the coach, what do you think the coach had told them? Or have you been at any of their press conferences listening to what the technical crew actually telling the boys, considering the fact that they had to let go of three, they were 3-1 up, and of course it was 3-3 at the point, and we're thinking, are they going to lose it? But somehow they bounced back 5-4, it ended in that opening game. Well, yesterday, um, what, basically what the coach had to say about it was that He's had to integrate a lot of good players into the team, and that has somewhat affected the balance. But that um, the mistakes that they made in the opening game, they have taken note of them and they are working on them. I asked, I asked him personally if it's a challenge working with young players, trying to get them to find a balance between their more attacking instincts and um, being disciplined. And he said yes, but um, that's something that they can only they can only hope to keep drumming in their expectations into the minds of the players and insisting on what they want so until the players get it. That's really all there is to it. Before we let you go, one, just one from me. Um, you've seen the team, you've seen the players. Um, would you say you've seen any player at that tournament that shouldn't be playing under-17 football? Sorry, come again? Have you seen any player at that tournament that shouldn't be playing under-17 football for Nigeria? You as a journalist, you've covered them. <laughs> Well, I think I think whoever um, the players that are here, they they are here on their own merits. Uh, you could see from the first game that there's a lot of talent in the Nigeria team. So I don't think there's anybody that's um, that's out of place. Whoever is here has obviously done enough to earn the face of the of the technical crew, and um, so far so good. They've shown that they deserve to be here. Yeah, no, when I'm, so I'm, not talking, I'm not talking about whether they deserve to be there or not. I'm talking about you as a journalist. You've been covering, obviously, uh, football for a while now. And have you seen any player that you, you've seen perhaps play on the 17 a few years ago and is still in this team? No, no, no. This, this, is, this is an entire, entirely new team. That, you know, very, very young players. Right. And, uh, yeah, uh, I think, I think if, if, I, if I get your question correctly, I don't think Nigerians have much to worry about. <laughs> In that regard, I think this okay. is a team that is, uh, that is very well within the limits. Okay. Okay, that's fantastic. I love that. Uh, just having all of them within the age. I get what Tyre was actually going to hear. Well, still is The final word from me is: Can you predict what the scoreline will be today? Well, it, it's um, it's a bit difficult for me to do that. I mean. Nobody expected 5-4 from the first game in the first place. Absolutely. So um, it's a bit up in the air. I don't think that it will be as open as that game was. Uh, the Angola coach himself, you know, talked about the fact that that first game was a bit of an aberration. Nigeria usually is not that leaky at the back. And Angola, they're also a very disciplined side. And they have very talented forwards. So um, I think, I think it will be a lot, you know, a lot less. 
free flowing. I think Nigeria will still win, probably 2 0. Mm. Okay, tune in. I love that. So, let's check it. Thank you so much for joining us on the program uh, this morning. Hopefully, tomorrow we'll get to talk to you and celebrate the ticket to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, okay. I look forward to that. To that. All right, thank you. All right. Uh, so let's check out right for Goal Africa. It's right there in Tanzania covering the Goal. I mean, I, I have to ask him that question I, I now know. because, I mean, he's, he's been right covering there. the game for a long time and there's a possibility of seeing a player yeah. Who was that, there before that, that was there right somewhere. For instance, I know this face and surely he's not on the same. No, nah, nah, we, we don't do that. Nah. Nah. Right, yeah, let's, anymore. Let's we can have a 